Hi and welcome to SQL tutorial in Access. Okay, let's start by creating a table in Access. So I'm going to click on close for this very table and I will go straight to create right here. And let's select design, query design. The query design is dialog box pops up. I'm going to just close that. And right underneath here you can see SQL or oh, you can always click here and let's just click on view SQL so the table I intend to create is for it's going to be known as dog rescue and you start with a command create and let's enter what we want to create in there that will be table and the name is going to just be rescue Okay, underscore dog. There. Let's say dogs. Now, right underneath here, we enter parentheses, open and close. There we go. First thing I tend to do is going to be I'm going to enter the dog. Let's say the dog ID. So we just call it dog one, dog two, and so on. So dog underscore ID. There we go. And I'm going to just enter auto, maybe auto increment, which is more or less like auto number, really. Auto increment, and I'm going to make that it's not going to be an empty cell, so it's not nil, no. And I will also make it my primary key. There we go. Enter a comma right there. Now, Let's give this dog a name. So we're gonna call it dog underscore name. And that is going to be virtual. So let's give it about 20 characters, enter a comma. Um, what else do we want of this dog? I'm gonna state the breed of this dog. So that's gonna be virtual as well. There. So let's make that about 20 also and um, what else do we need I'm going to go for the dog color we can make the color maybe about 15 or maybe 14 is fine then what else shall I enter what about sex yeah the Sex, I'm going to make that. Let's go for seven, comma, and year of birth, underscore of underscore birth, just the year. So we're going to make that just ordinary four characters. There, because it's just year just the year we want and the size of this dog so I'm just going to enter the dog size or approximate size underscore size so we can make that virtual as well and we can have small medium large so let's go for about 14 characters and that's all there is to it so we just created our first table so all i need to do now is i'm going to run it i'm going to call it dog res rescue so run and that is the table right there that's how you create a table using my sql and the second part of this tutorial, I am going to just show you how to insert data in there. Okay, as you can see, there's no data on this very table. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to add records here. So what we will do is let's come in here using SQL again. I'm going to close this. Let's close it. There's nothing in there as you guys can see. So you can have a look again. There's nothing. And I'm going to create another SQL query. So before that, let me just save this. So right click in here and just save this very one. 
There we go. Oh, let's save it as crates. Alright, rescue crates or rescue dog crates, whatever. Oh, okay, close that. Now, start a new query. Click on that and I'm going to get rid of this there. So I'm going to start by inserting the or using the command call insert into my very table that is known as rescue. So I have to get the spelling everything right. Rescue dogs. Enter the following value. Okay, so let's come in here and just say value. Open up a bracket and you can also close it and enter semicolon there. Okay, the first the very first value I intend to enter, let's say that is going to be dog number one. Okay. And what about the dog's name? We can just call that dog dog king. Right. In the case of King, we have to enter apostrophe. Right? And enter a comma. That is the name of the dog. And what about the breed? So you come down here, you can just enter apostrophe again. The breed is going to be let's say Jack Russell. There close that enter a comma again and the next one the color in this case I'm gonna say the color is brown there we go enter another comma there what about the sex in case of the sex we can just make that maybe female the comma and we have the sex when a year of birth the year of birth and we enter maybe 2000 and let's say 2008 comma and now the approximate size Let's make it a large dog. So I'm going to just enter large in there. There we go. That is if you look at it, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As you can see, the last cell here, there is no comma there. Okay. So I'm going to now run it. Let's run. Inside the whole little straight in here. Let's see. Okay, right up here, look, I kind of like mistakenly enter speech map. So let's close that and just enter there. And what else? Is there any other error? Those are the little things you have to be careful. You have to make sure that is it. I have just inserted my first record. Double click on that. There we go. Okay. Now. Let's close that or we can leave it. Let's enter another record. I intend to create another query. This is the first dog. So let's just call this dog one. Now I'm gonna create another one. Might as well copy this. You can close it if you want. Come right here. Create another one. And that will be dog number two. Okay, paste. That's dog number two. Change that to two and change the name to maybe Julie. And that's female as well. So let's change this dog breed. I'm going to change that to put. Okay, pug. And that's female and it's going to be small let's make sure it is small and come right here let's change the year of bed to about 2015 
and there that is it another doc created so i'm gonna save that save us and that is going to be dog two save and let's run here is set if you click on this table you won't be able to see that okay the only way you can see it is close this very table and double click on it to reopen it so that will more or less refresh the table okay so i'm going to speed that up now that you guys get the whole idea and just going to add more dog details in there and there we go i've just created another one another sql so that's dog it's called frogner we'll run that and let's double click on this right. double click on table and there we go so let's create another one copy again let's copy this yes it's saved um, open up another sql close that and That will be number four. So let's save it as number four. Save as dog four. Yeah. And that is number four. And the name of this, we can just call it Hall. And what kind of dog is Hall? Uh, we can call him Bulldog. And what is the color of this dog? We can make that white. And what about the okay? The sex we we'll leave that as male, and we we'll just make it medium. Two thousand and fifteen. So run. Insert. Check this out. Right there. Okay, we can close that. And I'm just gonna add more. Okay, guys, that is my that will be my last record. So if we double click in here, there we go. That's what the table is showing. There. Yeah. So and that's how you use insert the command insert to add data to your table. Okay, in this next session, we're gonna use SQL select statement to select any type of dog we want here maybe we should go for the approximate size so let's come in i'm going to close this and let's close this one Save. and we come in here and just click on query let's select sql query using selection statement i'm going to say from all enter a star there and i'm going to then enter from the name of my table is called rescue dog rescue underscore dog dogs actually and that's going to be where prosmet underscore size is equals to let's go for medium this time around or maybe small any of the above so I'm gonna go for large okay let's go for large there and that is my selection statements okay so let's save that right click save as select or dog select one dog select one Okay, underscore one. Select underscore one. Okay, save that and let's run that and see. There we go. All the large or the large dogs are all selected. So we can repeat the same thing for the other ones. So right click. Have a good look at the lines of code. Look at that. Just using the command select. Okay, and uh, you can do the same thing for the other ones let's close that start another one yeah. i'm doing this purposely so that you get used to how to use it and that is it so this one let's say we want to go for the small dogs okay the small dogs run 
there we go just one just one small dot so i'm going to save that as and that is how you use your select statement okay so save that so the next activity let's go to the next activity now the next activity instead of us selecting rows of type of dog we can just select two different types of dogs so let's come in here i'm going to go to the sql code let's just copy that i'm not going to use it all though so we'll close that let's go back to create and start from here there we go paste that in there so it's going to be select from the rescue dog itself okay get rid of that select from rescue dog let's say dot whatever the name of the dog, dog is dog underscore name i believe that is how it was named then i will also search for let's search for the breed as well so i'm going to get rid of this i'm going to say dog let's say comma comma dog dot breed Okay, that is two arguments. Okay, I think two should do. So let's just say from rescue dog. So do that from rescue dog. The table called rescue dog. Okay. So I'm searching these, searching for these dogs, the names of the dogs, and the breed of the dog. So that is. That is all. So we enter a semicolon here. So all they need to do is just to run. So click on run. There we go. Look at it. Look at it. And look at that. The names of the dogs and the breed of the dogs that we have. Okay, guys. So I believe or oh, I reckon you all enjoy this. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of this program. Y'all have a nice day now. Bye for now.